gardening without hurting your back. Have you been spending more time out in the yard getting that garden ready for the fall? With this lovely weather, we've had a lot of people who have been outside gardening more and more, and they're complaining more and more about their low back pain. So we decided it was time to talk about gardening without hurting your low back. And a couple simple tips that you can do that will help eliminate your low back pain after you've been gardening and a couple tips that you can implement if you should still have low back pain with gardening. So with, especially with this awesome weather that we've been having, we have had a ton of people who have been busy getting their yards ready for fall, um, getting everything all, all cleaned up and breaking all of those leaves and all the things that bring, that come with fall. And especially when we have this awesome weather, why not take advantage of it? Heard it's supposed to be nice through the weekend. So I wanted to make sure to give you guys these tips now. So as you're getting your gardens prepared for fall, you can be taking excellent care of your back. All right, so what do you need to do to keep your low back safe, safe while you're gardening? Well, tip number one is positioning. All right, so we all know we want to keep that good low back position, right? We want to make sure that we're not twisting, but especially that we're not twisting while we're bending, okay? Now, this can be a little bit tricky in a garden because if you're trying to get like behind something and, you know, you're kind of scooching around, you know, you got bushes and stuff, everything that you need to be trimming, um, it can be a little bit difficult, but as much as you can, you want to be face on with what you're working on so that you can be moving in one plane, which is flexion and extension, moving through that plane, okay? If you are weeding, let's say we spent quite a bit of time a couple weeks ago weeding our yard. Um, if you need to spend quite a bit of time <laughs> weeding your yard, um, there's a couple different positions you can do. You can be on hands and knees and using, you know, one hand to pull the weeds or to dig with the trowel. You can be sitting on, have you ever seen those little cute little garden stools that you can sit on, right? It's a little bit of a step, but it goes out in the garden really well. Those are great to sit in for a short period of time. Um, you can sit on your bottom and just garden that way if you have the flexibility to be able to bend forward. But keeping, again, spine in a neutral type position, um, making sure that we're not bending or reaching back with that rotational motion at the same time, okay? Now, I know you're saying, but Amy, I need to rake my yard. And of course you do because it's fall. So when you're raking, obviously you're gonna have a little bit of that bending forward and back along with that rotation. So that's just kind of the motion of raking, right? I mean, that just is required. So what we wanna do for that is we want to make sure that we take frequent breaks. So that's tip number two, take frequent breaks. Now that doesn't mean you need to stop what you're doing altogether, okay? It means you need to do something different so your body has a break. So for instance, when I'm cleaning up my yard, what I'll do is I will do some raking, I will rake some leaves, and then I will go pull some weeds because then I'm down on my hands and knees. And then I will go trim some bushes and then I'll take it all to the, the um, we called it the bio bin when we were living in Germany. I can't remember what it's called, but the bio bin where you put all your, your yard waste, yard waste bin, there we go, we'll call it that. Um, so do you see how it breaks up my activities? So I do some raking, I do some weed pulling, I do some trimming, and then I'm walking everything over to the bin. And I'll do each of those activities for about 15 minutes and just keep rotating around. That way you're not stuck in one position for a long period of time, putting that stress on your low back. Um, but you can keep working in your yard because obviously you probably don't wanna go sit down every 15 minutes while you're trying to get your yard cleaned up, especially at this time of year when there's so much to do. All right, so tip number one is to keep everything um, in a neutral position as much as is reasonably possible. 
tip number two is when you can't that you want to make sure you're taking frequent breaks but breaks doesn't mean you have to stop breaks just means you need to do a different activity it gives your body a break from that activity by doing a different activity all right so step number three is talking about more about the recovery process so if you spend eight to ten hours outside um, doing yard work in one day, chances are pretty good something's going to start kicking up or flaring up or become unhappy because um, that's a lot of time to spend doing yard work. So if that happens, there's a couple different positions, a um, couple different things I want you to try. One is the recovery position. So what I will do after I've been doing yard work is I will lay on my back with my arms up kind of like a goalpost. So I'll show you that right there kind of like that. So I'm just laying on my back. I got a pillow underneath my head, so I'm nice and comfy. You can have your knees bent up if that feels better on your low back. You can have your legs straight if that feels okay on your low back. You get to decide, but the arms are up in this position. What that does is it helps open up the front of the chest, stretches out the shoulders, and gets everything in this position because when we're doing yard work, we're down here, right? We're trimming, we're pulling weeds, we're raking, but it's all in this forward bent position. So we want to get up into this position. You can rest there for five to 15 minutes. I mean, you can actually stay there longer if it feels good and you want to, but five to 15 minutes will usually get things kind of stretched out and you'll feel much better. So that's the recovery position. The other thing that I recommend after you've been doing an increased amount of work, an increased amount from your normal level of work, is go ahead and throw some ice on. Chances are good that if your body's not used to that, it's going to have something to say about what you did. So throwing some ice on for just five minutes can really help decrease your pain the next day. Because most of the time, that's what people um, find is that it's not so much the day they're doing the yard work, it's the next day they get out of bed, they're super stiff, um, their back hurts, it, it's difficult to walk, they kind of hobble initially when they're going to um, the bathroom in the morning. And so all of these tips together will help to prevent that problem from happening the next morning. All right, so to review, one, we wanna keep our spine in a neutral position. So moving through one plane, flexion and extension is fine. Even moving through rotation is fine. We don't wanna put them together. The back does not like flexing and rotating at the same time. Two, we want to take frequent breaks. That doesn't mean you have to go sit down, but it needs you need it does need it does mean that you need to take a break from the activity you're doing and do something different. So think about that mentally before you go out. Like what do I need to get accomplished today? So you kind of have um, your different activities that you can rotate in between. It helps give your body a break. Three, what you're gonna do afterwards to recover. So you've got your recovery position where you're laying on the ground. You can also do this on your bed if that feels better for you, just opening up the front of the chest. And then you wanna make sure any, to ice any ouchy areas for just five minutes to make sure that you don't wake up with that pain and stiffness the next day. All right, so I hope those are helpful for you guys this weekend as you're going out there and doing your yard work. If you do wake up stiff and sore on Monday morning and you need some help, feel free to give us a call. We could love to have a body chat about your body with you. Our phone number is 425-658-4944. Take care, guys.